Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Recently, there was an incident uh, in front of the Kaaba where a lady uh, raised the Palestinian flag in front of the Kaaba. And the authorities came, uh, and one of, one of the authorities uh, rushed and he took down the flag and he told her not to do this because the other person was filming her. Yeah, and um, subhanAllah, this, this case or this incident went viral and people started accusing the authorities and the Saudi government and even the Arabs. Oh, look, they don't care. They are against Palestine and all this ridiculous accusations. Nasallah al afiyah wa salam. And again, this is a disclaimer. This is not saying, I'm not saying this because I'm against the Palestinians or their cause or whatever. This oppression and transgression that's happening against the Palestinians from the Israelis and the Zionists. This is something that we all condemn and we reject and we are, we are standing with the Palestinians. The issue is how do we how do we um, express our support to the Palestinians? We as people, I'm talking about us people. This is, this is not how it's done. And not because somebody stopped her, that means he's, by default, he is against the Palestinians. It doesn't work like that. We have to understand that you are in the Kaaba and you, there is a sanctity and respect to such places. Yeah? We haven't seen anyone raising any kind of, any kind of flag there or anything like that. And we have to respect and abide by the rules of the people of authority. If they say this is not allowed here, it doesn't mean that they hate you or they... This is wrong. It's as if somebody says, you know, I'm speeding in my car and the radar caught me because of I'm, I'm over speeding. I says, ha, ha, see, the government don't want me to go to work. Uh, they're against me going to work. They're against me driving. No, you just broke the law, man. Just respect that. It's as simple as that. Don't try to... You know, take things out of context and exaggerate into things and accuse people falsely about about their intentions and, and who they support and who they, they don't support. This is stupid. This is from the Ikhwani Manhaj. Anything that the, that the Arabs or the Gulf does, uh, look, look, they're against. They are against Islam. They are against Palestine. They are against... This is, wallahi, ridiculous. And then we get some people who, of course, ala tool, swiftly... They jump the wagon and they start talking. They want some clout and attention and they want to cause fitna among the Muslimin. Taban falsely with false yani, interpretation and, and analysis of the situation. Jahl, jahl. Like this, this person, for example, on, on X. I hid his name because he's irrelevant. But the statement needs to be yani, clarified and refuted and corrected. He says, if the Palestinian flag should not be raised in the haram, due to its sanctity then nor should tall buildings tower uh, tower the kaaba nor the doors of the mosque be named after corrupt kings the sanctity is not confined to one aspect and this has three problems three uh, mistakes that this person is spreading this actually went viral so i had to address this first of all these buildings they are used for a reason. This is for the people who are visiting the Kaaba and staying there and doing Umrah and doing Hajj. Where do you want them to stay? Yani? I don't understand these people. There are people, they're old men, they're women, there are children. There are people who are just want to have some services. Yeah, and you don't want people to, you want people to, to stay in the where? In the sun? How does that work? How does your brain work when you, when you type such nonsense? Relax. We should thank the Saudi government for providing such services. All these buildings, all these services, the restaurants, the, 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 the rooms, the services, everything is there. Alhamdulillah, this is for our service. Yani I don't understand why. How do you compare this with that? Salam. And then he says, Wallahi, don't, call, don't name or the doors should not be named after corrupt kings. Wallahi, this is from the jahl. Yani. So you're saying that the doors are not allowed to be named after people? Is that what you're saying? Because at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu uh, there were people from Khazraj who converted to Islam, accepted Islam in, in Mecca, and then they traveled back to Medina, and they built the first masjid before the Hijrah. And they called it Masjid Bani Zuraiq, or Masjid Bani Zuraiq. And this was a tribe. So the masjid was named after, after a tribe from the Khazraj. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he traveled to Medina and he knew about it, he never said, no, this is haram or change the name of the masjid. As a matter of fact, Imam al-Bukhari mentioned this in his book. Imam Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani mentioned this in his, in his explanation, Fath al-Bari. Imam al-Nawi also mentioned that that's all permissible. Jumhur al-Ulama, that it is permissible to name masajid, huh? not doors, masajid. 
after after people who built them or all that so it is permissible to name a masjid after a person who built it or somebody that had any yani kind of a, uh, a connection to this masjid so what about a gate you have a problem with naming a gate yani what silliness is this and last but not least he said these corrupt kings who do you mean by corrupt kings al malik fahad or malik abdullah if you mean them then wallahi anta ma tastahi you have no shame you come to umrah or you come to hajj i don't know i'm guessing that you've been to umrah at least once you go there and you are benefiting from the services that these kings and their grandsons and their family are providing us with protection and services and all these things then you go back to your country and you call them corrupt kings you slander them falsely what kind of manners what kind of islamic manners is this sallallahu alaihi wasallam this is like me i get invited to a house and then when i leave say these guys are bad these are and they have be, be, they have been hospitable and they've been nice to me طبعاً, i know the 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 haram is for the muslimin the haram mecca kaaba is for the muslimin nobody owns it but the service is there yeah and you're telling me you never benefited from the services there what is this what kind of manners is this sallallahu alaihi wasallam but what to say ila allah almushtaka wallahi we just complain to allah some people now they're using any kind of thing that is related to Palestine just to draw attention and cause fitna and they're just misusing this case this issue with the Palestinians Ms. Allah Azza wa that Allah protects them and makes them victorious just to to cause fitna among the muslimin and they want they have something else that they want they want to always attack and slander our muslim rulers or our countries and all that so Allah Azza wa Jalla, I ask Allah Azza wa Jalla to protect Saudi and all the Muslim countries, protect them from any harm, from shirk, from bid'ah, from corruption, from anything. Allah al